Former Vice President Dick Cheney, and he's talking. At one point, you said, for example, the Obama administration has made this country less safe. That's a very serious charge. In effect, what we've seen happen uh, with respect to the Obama administrations that came to power is they have moved to take down uh, a lot of those policies we put in place that kept the nation safe for nearly eight years from a follow-on terrorist attack like 9-11. To the extent that those policies were responsible for saving lives, that the administration is now trying to cancel those policies or end them, terminate them, then I think uh, it's fair to argue, and I do argue, that that means in the future we're not going to have the same safeguards we've had for the last well, eight but years. But what do you say to those, uh, Mr. Vice President, who say that when we employ these kind of tactics, which are, after all, the tactics that the other side uses, mm -hmm. that when we adopt their methods, that we're weakening security, not enhancing security? Then you'd have to say that, um, um, in effect, we're prepared to sacrifice American lives rather than run an intelligent interrogation program that would provide us the information we need. The fact of the matter is, these techniques that we're talking about um, are used on our own people. We, in a SEER program that, uh, in effect, trains our people with respect to capture and, and evasion and so forth and escape, um, a lot of them go through these same, same exact procedures. Is what you're saying here is that we should do anything if we could get information. No, but remember what happened here, Bob. We went to the Justice Department, and the controversy has arisen over the opinions written by the Justice Department. The reason we went to the Justice Department wasn't because we felt we were going to take some kind of free hand assault on these people or that we were in, in the torture business. We weren't. If we had been about torture, we wouldn't have wasted our time going to the Justice Department. Do you have any regrets about any of it? Uh, no regrets. I think it was absolutely the right thing to do. I'm convinced, absolutely convinced, that we save thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands of lives. When uh, things are quieter 20 or 30 years from now, you'll be able to look back on this and say this is one of the great success stories of American intelligence. The charge that somehow there was something wrong done here or that this was torture and violation of U.S. Uh, statutes is just absolutely false. You, Guantanamo, can we ask other countries to take these people back? We have asked other countries to take them back and they've refused. You're just going to find it very difficult to send them any place. Now, as I say, there's been some talk on the part of the administration about putting them in the United States. I think that's going to be a tough sell. I don't know a single congressional district in this country that's going to want to say, gee, great, they're sending us 20 al-Qaeda terrorists. It's a graphic demonstration of why Guantanamo is important. We had to have a place, a facility, where we could capture these people and hold them. If you bring them to the United States, they acquire all kinds of legal rights. And, and uh, as Khalid Sheikh Mohammed said when we captured him, he said, I'll talk to you guys after I get to New York and see my lawyer. Um, that's the kind of problem you're going to have with, uh, with these terrorists. Talk that's quickly about your party, the Republican Party. Colin Powell, Rush Limbaugh said the other day that the uh, party would probably be better off if Colin Powell left and just became a Democrat. Uh, Colin Powell said Republicans would uh, be better off if they didn't have uh, Rush Limbaugh out speaking for him. Where do you come down? Well, if I had to choose uh, in, in terms of being a Republican, I'd go with Rush Limbaugh, I think. I think um, my take on it was Colin had already left the party. I didn't know he was still a Republican. You'd take Rush Limbaugh for Colin Powell? I would. All right. Politically. Mr. Vice President, thank you, sir.